Blog Talk Radio. What up, what up, what up? This is your boy J. Rowe joining me here tonight on GFT Radio. I got my boy Clint. Say what up, What's Clint. Up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? And also we have Red. Red, say what's up. Hello, everybody. All right. Tonight, actually today is our first show of the new year. You know, today is January 7th, uh, 2016. And tonight's topic will be New Year, New Me. Um, You know, starting off the new year, we got everybody out here doing these New Year resolutions. Um, Trying to figure out, do people actually abide by these New Year resolutions? Do they just make them and, and not do them? Uh, do you actually have a New Year's resolution? If so, what is it, and uh, how is it going so far? So we're just going to hop right into it. Um, you hit us up, uh, www.blogtalkradio.com backslash GFT radio show. Um, be sure to check us out there. And also the phone number. Uh, somebody want to give out that phone number for me? Sure. 657-383-1171. One one five five. That is our call in number for you guys. All right, there you go, there you go. So, um, actually, before I start, you know, I want to give a shout out to the other Red. Uh, hopefully, she's tuned in, listening. Hopefully, we get a chance to hear from her uh, later today. If not, we'll just keep the show rolling. But anyway, uh, any of you two have any New Year's resolution? I'm gonna tell you straight up, I don't have a New Year's resolution. I don't, I don't <laughs> do those things. New Year's resolutions are like a, a, a waste of time to me. I mean, people say they have New Year's resolutions. This whole New Year, New Me thing is overrated. I hate hearing that. I, I honestly hate hearing that New Year, New Me. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I feel as though if, if you're going to make a change, especially a, like a change in your lifestyle, you, know what I mean? you don't need to wait till the New Year. You know what I mean? You could do, that's, that's, that's a daily thing. Right. So... So I don't believe everybody when they be like, "Well, when New Year come in, I'm 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 a correct my I'm do this. I'm more focused. Like why wait? You know what I mean? Like why wait to the New Year? You know what I mean? And then, you know, I, I guess like a lot of the one of the biggest New Year resolutions that everybody, oh, I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna lose weight. <laughs> that. The gym is packed. <laughs> oh, I guess we lost connection. Was that my phone or yours? I don't know. I think it was mine. All right. Is is Kenya still? Oh, you can't even call Kenya, can you? Uh Uh-uh, but I I called the show. Hi, guys. We're still live. We were having a little bit of a technical issue there. I'm not sure what happened, but we were cut off, and we are now live again. Um, So, again, we apologize for that, and we are going to continue back into the show. Uh. Clinton, I think you were discussing uh, how you felt about the New Year's resolution. Yeah, I, w- I, w- I was saying that, you know, one of the biggest resolutions people make during the New Year is, you know what I mean, I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to get in shape for the summer. You know, by the time they about two or three weeks in, diet off already. They don't miss a couple of days of work. I don't even give it that long. I don't give it that long. <laughs> it's, so it's like it's, 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 it's funny to me. I always go by the uh, by the, uh I'm, I'm improved daily. So, you know, I don't got to wait till the new year. If I want to make a life changing, you know what I mean, in my life, do do something that's to change my life, I'm going to start now. You know what I mean? I ain't going to push off tomorrow what I can do today. You know, so I never I never believed in the uh, New Year's resolution. What about you, uh, Red? I, I agree with you guys. I mean, the whole um, New Year's resolution, I mean, like you said, that uh, growing is something that we should be doing daily. So to be waiting for a new year just to say, okay, I'm going to change some things. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you 
you feel like you want to start off fresh and you had a rough year and you want to wipe the slate clean and do things differently, you know, fine. But like Clint said, I mean, there's there's no better time than now, you know, no I'm sorry, no greater time than the present to to go ahead and make any changes you want to make or any growth or just, you know, whatever it is you want to do that is ultimately for, you know, the betterment of yourself. So I agree with you guys. Personally, we don't do that, but we want to hear from you guys. I mean, do you guys have New Year's resolutions? Um, is it something that you hold on to for a week, for a month? Uh, is there anything that you set out for yourself last year as a New Year's resolution that you actually kept that you want to share with us? Again, the number to call in is 657-383-1155. Now, I do want to say, I, I, a funny story, we had, uh, my, my wife and I had went out to Atlantic City for New Year's, and um we got back home, I guess you can consider New Year's Day, about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And as we're mm-hmm. pulling into our development, our, our, our complex, um, the clubhouse is there. And you should have saw the cars lined up with people in the gym on New Year's, like 5 o'clock in the morning. I guess they were all in there getting their New Year's resolution started early. But I'm just like, I, <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I agree with you guys. Um I, I don't understand why people make these last, like, they'll wait until the end of the year to make these resolutions. And like you say, the main one is I'm going to get in better shape. I'm going to lose weight. You see everybody at the gym, you know, they hit those two-a-days at the gym, and that only lasts for, like I say, I don't even give it a week. I, I say people are in the gym doing their two-a-days maybe like the first three days of the year, and then after that they're they're done with it. I don't see it going past that. I haven't seen too many cars in the parking lot early in the morning <laughs> at oh the gym past this second or third day. <laughs> I think I think it's like it's putting too much pressure on yourself. Now, nah, I mean, first of all, nah, I mean, like, I agree, coming yeah. to New Year, now nah, I mean, you like, well, it, it's one thing to have to set set goals. Now, nah, I mean, but so I I I can understand somebody be like, well, my goal this year is is now nah, I mean to be in better shape than I was. Last year, you know what I mean? But the key thing to that it was last year you was already working on it. You know what I mean? So this year you're just trying to improve instead of going mm-hmm. in saying, well, this is what I'm going to do. I ain't do it last year. I'm going to do it this year. I mean, this, just 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 tell you one day at a time and, and move forward. It's, always, it's almost like, kind of like, like trying to stop smoking. You know what I mean? You hear a lot of people be like, man, I'm about, I'm about to stop smoking. I ain't smoking no more. A weekend, they good. Next thing you know, they start getting that itch again, and they right mm-hmm. back smoking because they really uh-huh. cause they really didn't mean it. You know what I mean? They was just making a, a rash decision. You know what I mean? They was just, and it's just too much pressure. Just take it one day at a time, people out right. there. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be all, be all outrageous with it, outlandish with these no, nah, I mean I'm gonna do this this year, this all this. Nah, I mean just take it one day at a time. Just keep improving. You feel me? So new new I year, but just just a new, just a new long day. Ones, like Trump said, <laughs> I'm with you because if you set out a year goal, that's not realistic. You got to start small. If you're gonna say you know this week instead of going like for the gym, you know you go in the evening. You say okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the morning. Well, you're already doing that. So you're just changing the time you go, which that may help you progress throughout the day more. You know, it may help you feel rested, uh, you know, get your rest at night, and it may help you feel like at 2 o'clock you're not going to go get that snack that you need, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon when you need that sugar rush. You know, so mm-hmm. I, I agree with you, Clint, yeah. And, and also, like, you know, uh, there's a lot of when, – when you when – you, if you're going to make a resolution or something like that, I, I really don't like using that word. You're going, you know what I mean? So, sometimes it's also best to keep it to yourself. You know what I mean? Because once you put it out there, hey, I'm going to do this this new year, um, and especially on social media, you know what I mean? And then within a couple of days or a week, you haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You, haven't done, now you got everybody just looking at you crazy. Like, you know what I mean? You just told me you was about to start stop smoking. I mean, we in the store and bought you a whole two pack of cigarettes already. I mean, it's January third. Like, what are you talking about? You just said you was about to stop smoking. 
No, I mean, just keep it to yourself. And then you don't got to face that, no, I mean, that, that criticism. Or no, I mean, people give you the side out, like, yeah, you know what I mean? I ain't talking all that nonsense. He ain't do nothing. We like six days in. He ain't do nothing. He was talking about what he was doing. He already forgot. Yeah. He well, I don't think you should keep it to yourself. I, I agree with, you know, there's no need with posting it all over social media. But if you're with someone, uh, if you're going to attach yourself to someone who has successfully done what you've already done, it's good to have an accountability partner because someone needs to hold you accountable for what it is you say True. that you're going to True. do. So I don't think sharing it on social media is a thing, but I do think sharing it with someone who's already done it is a great thing because there are lots of things that we can't do by ourselves. If you're going to start smoking, you're going to stop drinking, you want to lose weight, you know, you want to buy a home, you know, things of that nature, you have to surround yourself with people who have already done <coughs> what it is you want to do in order to get there. I think a lot of times people are – coming up with these resolutions and they're going at it alone or they're doing it with people who are jumping right in at the same level that they are. So at any given time, if I'm going to say I'm, you know, going to go to the gym and I have one of my homegirls who's like, yeah, girl, me too. Well, if if one of y'all stop going, no one, the other one is eventually going to stop going because you're not, you don't have somebody there who's like, no, 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 get up you're not going to drop these 30 pounds with the sign that because it's cold outside, you're not going to go to the gym. Why are you eating that? Exactly. That's not going to help. We just, are you serious? <laughs> this, this isn't going to work. You know? Exactly. So it's, it, you, you have to have somebody, but the key is, like I said, attaching yourself to someone or surrounding yourself with people who've already done it. And, they're still and you don't need to wait till the new year to do that. Exactly. exactly. You don't wait till the new year to do that. I mean, and I think it also they, goes they back to... Looking, they might be looking for a new person for the way to the new year. <laughs> <laughs> I think it really goes... To, it comes down to motivation. Like, what's your motivation? Yeah. I mean, your motivation shouldn't be, oh, it's a new year. Now, I mean, you, you should have a deeper motivation than that. Now, I mean, if, if you if you mo- if you say you want to get in shape or, or do that, your motivation should be your health. You want to improve your health. So now I mean, if, you, if 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 that's your motivation, it's not waiting. You're making life changes today. Now I mean, right. like, like you're not waiting to the new year. You're not waiting to some point in time to oh, mm-hmm. now I mean, let me let me uh, two weeks here. It's gonna be the new year. I'm gonna wait this in. I gotta change my. I gotta get in shape because I'm not feeling. I'm not healthy. Like right? nah, yeah, that should already be on your mind. So you should already right. have some sort of motivation. Now I mean, a deep motivation. Yeah. I knew one young lady who she wanted to stop smoking. And for her, um, one of her family members, two of them actually, over in the in recent years had passed from lung cancer and they were smokers. And so what she remembered, um, what I like to call when I was in multi level marketing, we had what we call a why. And that why is what you remember every time you want to quit. For her, her why was the death of two of her family members who were also smokers, and she watched them suffer. And so when she wanted to stop, she went and um, called the hotline, which has coaches and mentors and stuff that call you every day. Uh, She went and got that pill uh, that you take, like, once a day or something like that. And then she she was also, because she was doing patches before, but she said it didn't work and the gum and all that stuff. So she started taking that pill, and she said literally, like, after the first week, she didn't have the urge anymore. But what stopped mm-hmm. her from doing it completely was her why. She remembered mm-hmm. those family members who had passed away from the lung cancer. So that was ultimately what kept her from smoking anymore. It wasn't just the medicine. But a lot of times people say they're going to stop, and they try to do a cold turkey. And something like that is just... This is not going to happen. I mean, you've been smoking your whole life, and you're like, I'm just going to quit. Well, what help do you have? I mean, let's be realistic here. You're not just going to stop, go to work, and then here it is 12 o'clock, and you usually go for a smoke break, and you're going to be like, oh, I'm just not going to go downstairs, and the craving's going to go away. I mean, that's huge. That's like a controlling addiction. I mean, it becomes a habit. You have to do it. 
Exactly. And I think a lot of people don't even take the help that they need some of these things done, whether it's smoking, drinking, going to the whatever. You know, I'm not going to hang out as much. You know, I'm going to cut some people off. I hear that all the time, you know. I'm just I'm not taking oh, any people in the end of 2016 with me, you know, no new friends. But then you've been complaining about the same old friends for the last 10 years. So, for I the, mean, uh-huh. is it really smart <laughs> to not meet new people? And if you're not meeting new people, how are you growing? So it's not really about having loyalty with people who you've grown up with and stuff. So the fact of the matter is, as we grow, some of those people are going to disappear because you're not, they're not, you're not going to be growing together. But that's a resolution, not really a resolution. I'm trying to even use that word, but that's growth that should be happening year round, not January first. Mm. No, it is. Too many people are following trends. Nobody's being original. Yeah. They're all out here following these trends, like you said. And, and as soon as you said that, no new friends. That was exactly what I thought about. Yeah. Everybody wants to follow these trends. Stuff like that comes out. Oh, no new like, friends. Yeah, no new friends in 2016. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> no new friends in 2016, really? Like, mm-hmm. that's, that's what you're doing? YOLO, no new friends. Come on now. The original. Stop Stop being a follower. Stop doing all this, these trends and everything. Do something original. Yep. Exactly. I only understand that concept, though. It's like, you know what I mean? Everybody, you know, everybody want to cut everybody off. I mean, mm-hmm. I know it's for the new year. Like I, that was all on my Twitter, my Facebook, everything. Now I mean, well, I'm leaving a lot of people in 2015 going into 2016. It's like why? Now I mean, like it's like mm-hmm. it, it's you're bringing in the new year on a negative note to me. Now I mean, yeah. And first of all, if 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 those friends or the people that you had hanging around you were already bringing you down, and you knew this, why are you waiting? Why Why does it have to take a new year for you to make that change? Like, it, it's just it's just pointless to me. Now, I mean, then you make yourself look crazy. Like, I mean, who are you talking to? Especially because, you know, some people be like, man, I, I no new friend, cutting everybody. But, you, but you, when you see them, they're around the same people all the time. They're with the same people. So it's like, who are you talking about? These little limited friends you got? I only see you with. I mean, only see you. With, you got like four friends. So you know what I mean. Them same four friends. They probably looking at their computer or or, or telephone. Like, yo, know, who is he talking about? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, who is she talking about? Like, she don't hang around nobody. You know what I mean? She, we her only friends. So we she, she cutting us off. Like, I mean, like it goes to what like Jabril said. Just people following trends. You know what I mean. Cause that, that's well, that same slogan, I, uh, I'm cutting people off, and and, and they're not, I'm not taking them into the new year with me. So, oh, no, they'll say, I'm making changes. So if you don't hear from me, you were one of them. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what? one more person on Facebook tell me that they that they cutting their friend list down. I didn't see mm-hmm. so many people on Facebook talking about they cutting their friend list down. Oh, I'm making changes. I'm, I'm cutting back. Only real oh, people yeah. I mess with are the ones I'm going to keep on here. I got too many mm-hmm. friends on Facebook. And you're still doing the same thing six it, months right. later, seven months later, a year later. Like, how you got more friends than you started out with at the beginning of the year? But exactly. you talking about no new friends. <laughs> you talking about no new friends and you cutting back, but you got more friends than you started out with. Like, come on now. Yeah, man, that's too funny. That is too funny. Oh, man. That's, it's just because... Like you said, people got a lot of followers, you know what I mean? So they just following. They just wanted to sound good, you know what right. I mean? They just want to – it's basically a front. That's all yeah. it is, you yeah. know what I mean? So you do, you come in New Year front, you know what I mean? You know what's so funny? Gotta... You know what would be funny? Like like mm-hmm. what your brother said when he, when he came – when him and his wife came back to their complex, like you seen everybody in there working out, you know what I mean? You know, Facebook is the same thing. I know y'all see it on y'all news feed. You got people, they be taking pictures of the gym. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? They they be posing in the gym. You know what I mean? So, feel me, they post that first picture around January. They post, you know what I mean, like a little update around March. And you be like, yo, you look the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, like, you was talking all that talk. You felt like you were in the gym right there, but you looked exactly the same. Ain't nothing changed. Mm-hmm. You feel me? 
you probably put on about two or three more pounds. Mm. So it'll be like, it'd, it'd be too funny. You about to ask a question, Red? Yeah, so we've made, you know, we've used a couple of um, examples for New Year's resolutions, at least I think, that we hear a lot of women say. Jim, you know, um, I hear more women than men say that they want to stop smoking. What do you guys, like, what have you seen to be um, popular resolution amongst males? Um, amongst males is yes. one of the ones I've seen was, was going to the gym, definitely going to the gym. Okay. okay. A lot of guys are talking about they're, they're trying to go to the gym, get in shape, working on their summer body already. But the summer body mm-hmm. turns into like a February body because by then you're just like, yo, I'm, I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I got a guy on my Snapchat. He posts a picture every morning of his liquid diet because all he does is drink like those protein shakes and, and take all of that muscle mass and and all that pro, pre-workout and That's all that it? stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, these are these people's resolutions. We'll see how long it lasts. I guess until that bottle is gone, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, you get these two a days and three like, days when it out. Comes to weight loss, so many people have it so wrong about how to lose weight. First of all, if you're in the gym, you're going to build the muscle. But when mm-hmm. you're losing the weight, you can't lose weight by one drinking just protein shake. There's not enough nutrients in that. There ha- you have to be able to get protein from different places. If you're just doing a liquid diet, and you can't do that permanently because your body will hit yeah. a plateau. Then it's going to stop yep. working. I saw somebody else post that. Like, I have a green shake every morning. But that's something I do every day. It's, you know, it's not because I, because I go to the gym in the morning. So, for me, I need that in the morning because it gets me going. I don't have, like, a, a breakfast in between that. You know, I'll have my shake. You know, I'll have, like, a, a mid-morning snack or whatever, and then I'll wait till lunch. But you have to eat five small meals every day. And I, even with women, I always tell them, say, well, I'm just, I'm just just giving you a salad. Well, what you going to put in the salad? No, I'm going to just have, you know, I'm going to have my greens. Okay, so what you going to have for dinner? Um, Probably just make another salad. No, 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 no. You're not burning <laughs> any calories like that. You're not speeding up your metabolism that way. Your body is, is down there feeding off of itself. What are you doing? Yeah, like one of my friends, I just got her to do a clean eating, and so she went and did the grocery shopping, and she started making the meals. I meal plan, so I pack all my meals on Monday. It makes it so much easier for me because I don't have to think about what I'm eating. I grab four containers out of the refrigerator, put it in my lunch bag, I'm out the door. I just pick one up when I'm ready to eat. But, yeah, somebody's drinking just protein shakes, okay, sir, but for how long are you doing that? Because you can't do that for – the whole time, the whole year, like I'm just gonna drink these shakes. Another one that's big. <laughs> another one that's big amongst the fellas is, uh, I'm gonna get money. I mean, I'm gonna, oh my <laughs> goodness, I'm gonna get money this year. I'm gonna get money. Like that's the most that's the most vague, know what I mean, statement ever. Know what I mean, like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna get. What's your plan? Yeah. Right. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, so what is your plan? You know what I mean? Like, like, what? Like, what is your plan? And then it goes with the weight loss too. Like, yeah, I'm gonna lose. Like, what is your plan? Y'all, y'all making these blanket statements, but nobody right. has a plan. Now, I mean, nobody has a plan. How do you plan to do this? Now, I mean, oh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. just work hard. Now, I mean, I'm gonna just grind harder. Now, I mean, okay. Okay, that's grind cool. harder, define <laughs> grind hard. Like you just made right. another basic statement. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna, get a part-time job I'm gonna grind harder. Yeah. Like, what, what does that mean? Can you tell me what your original yeah. grind was so I can know what your grind harder? Right, right, right. Is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like uh, it'd be confusing. Like when you start asking I mean. people, do you want to go home <laughs> early? I'm gonna be like, nah, because I'm grinding harder this year, so I'm gonna stay instead of going home. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does this mean, sir? <laughs> that's too funny. That'd be too funny, man. So do, no, so that, that's a good kids. one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, man. That'd be all up the town. That'd be all up and down. Uh, that and, and yeah. relationships. 
you know, I guess that goes for the ladies too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, I know, I know a lot of people, I guess, they have failed. You know, a lot of people be going through multiple relationships in a year, which is bugged out to me. Yeah. In, in, in the first place, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's only 12 months in the year. Ain't no reason why you should have, like, four boyfriends or four girlfriends. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's crazy. That's crazy to be. You know what I mean? They don't even be, they don't even just be, like, talking about they, they be they, they man or they woman. Like, they be dead serious. Right. The next thing you know, next week is a whole different person. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. So I know. <laughs> like, what happened? I don't want you to win Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's real life. Well. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I've I seen one and girl post. That is so funny because it's like when you think about stuff like that with relationships, and then they'll just say, like, oh, well, you know, he wasn't the one, you know, so moving on. Well, here's the thing the next one won't be the one either because whatever issue you just had with him. You're a part of it. You just took it into your next relationship. To the next You didn't one. Uh-huh. give yourself enough time to get over that. But I guess because these relationships are so fast, they don't need any time. You're like, man, I'm going for two weeks. I'm good. I'm going to the next one. I'm like, oh, 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 okay. All right. Nowadays, yeah. I mean, you be three days later, all right, you know, I got to go to the bar and give me a drink because I need to get over what right. happened. And then, you know, three days later, you meet somebody new at the bar and y'all, and you're just like, wait a minute. Exactly. We met that day when I was like going through week. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going through something, you know, and, you know, he, he helped me get through it. Why? Because he could just walk away with so and so last week. Yeah, like, come on now. <laughs> but then he'll come back around. And now he's the third wheel to this new guy that you met to get over him or her. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, come on, now. come on. Y'all. Come on. And that's how you end up on Maury trying to figure out who baby dad is. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood that. That that's a whole other conversation. But I, I never understood that. Like, I don't want to just blame the guy. I don't want to just blame the girl. But how you on Maury Pope is trying to test like nine dudes out? How does yeah. that happen? Right. <laughs> No, 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 uh, 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 uh. it's him, because I ain't sleeping with nobody but him. Oh, and them Wait, too. I'm going to get off the topic, but I, I'm telling you, I was home the other day, and I saw this episode of Maury, and it was like, my baby has bad breath just like you. I know you're the baby dad. Oh. I was like, yo, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I lied to you not. That was the topic of the show. The baby's breath had, the baby got bad breath just like you. I knew you the baby dad. I was oh, like, Maury oh, is fucking yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to that. that episode. I got to find that episode. That's my new year no resolution. No way, right man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got to watch that episode. It was, you know, it was on. It was on TV like earlier this early, last, one day last week. I was off work, so it had. It was yeah, one day bro, last week. no. Oh, man, that's too funny. That's too funny, right? There. <laughs> but, like I say, I don't want to get off topic. That was something that came to mind. Like, it, 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 uh, let's get back to what we were talking about. Me I, know, I, got I, just, I don't want to see nobody else on Maury trying to test nine ten dudes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I noticed it's just uh it's just this girl she posted something. You know what I mean? I seen a couple people post it, but to, to, like I like I kind of know her, so it, it kind of uh rubbed me the wrong way. I, well, now I don't want to say rubbed me the wrong way. It just made me look at it a little funny though. You know what I mean? It's like at 2016, I'm trying to find me a husband. This I'm like whoa 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Like you trying to find you a husband? Within the right. year, know what I mean, like, <laughs> you know, what I mean, you that's what got to go back to the plan. Know what I mean, you ain't saying you trying to meet you a nice man or anything like that. You trying to find you a husband within the year. Like, like that's so- your goal. Like that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, like, I ain't got no time for that. Like, I mean, let's just go ahead and get to the point. I'm nah, for man, her. Yeah, you just you just you eliminated. <laughs> You just oh you just eliminated God. a lot of dudes. You just eliminated a lot right. of dudes who probably was digging you. As soon as they say that, seen that comment, oh, she trying to get married this year. No, I mean she looking for a husband right now. Like, nah, I ain't, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, I ain't with it. I don't even know her like that. You feel me? <laughs> she looking crazy to me right now. But, so, she looking for a husband ASAP. 
Like, nah, can, we, can we just Netflix and chill first? That's another thing I need to oh, stop. I need God. to stop it. You know, my New Year's resolution is stop, stop, stop getting involved with these trends. Um, stop getting involved with Netflix and chill. Um, stop getting involved with no new friends. Stop getting involved with with uh, so many things. So many things. Yeah, this is this is New Year, man. It's a new year. I know it's a new year, but I'm, I, I want to say it's gonna be a new me. But you know, I see, a, you, I know you've seen a lot of them. I'm gonna be the same asshole I was at 11:59 at 12:01. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much sums up my exactly. life. I'm still just gonna be the same. Uh, see, I don't like those people. Neither. It's, it's it's one thing. It's one thing. You gotta be to to not to to not. I guess you could say, believe in a resolution or or, or nothing like that. But it's another thing, like would your brother say how people be coming in with this attitude, like I'm the same, I'm gonna be the same music as I was last year, this, that, and the third. Like, don't nobody want to improve? Know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you wanna, know what I mean? Where's the improvement? You feel me? From day to day. No, I mean everybody just everybody. You know, what I mean like it's cool to be an asshole. It's cool to be stuck mm-hmm. in a in in a bad situation. Know what I mean like nah, improve. Know what I mean that's one of the things. But you gotta have a plan. Know what I mean that's yes. my issue. That's my issue with these with these resolutions. Like know what I mean people making these blanket statements, but it, mm-hmm. you don't have no plan. You don't know how. You don't have no plan. No idea how to how to even start a plan. Like Red said earlier, you don't got no support system. You feel me? Because that's big, mm-hmm. too. You know what I mean? If you want to yeah. make some life changes, like you have to have a support system somewhere. You know what I mean? So if you're really going to do it, you know what I mean? Like if you really focused on it, I can respect it. But when you're just coming out, you're just talking about you're going to do this, that, and the third for a new year, but you ain't got no plan. You don't know how to, not even, not even, you can have a plan, but you don't even know how to execute it. You feel me? Like it's, right. it's, it's layers to it. Know what I mean? Like it's layers. Know I mean? You gotta have a plan. Then you gotta be able to execute that plan. Then you gotta be able to, to be able to face the obstacles that's gonna come within the plan. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? Like it keep going. You feel me? So you just know what I mean. If you you don't got the motivation for it, right? Like, I mean, like New Year's resolution is worth it. A new year, new me. Like come on, man. Get my face. Get my face. Or that, or the, or the same way that New Year, I ain't changing. No, I mean, like you, maybe you need to, maybe you need to change something. No, I mean, maybe you, you need to change something. So obviously, something's not working for you because you're angry. No, I mean, you're just angry. Like you say, these these people out here talking about their New Year's resolution. Oh, you know, I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna grind harder. Okay, you have you have I you have you have the concept down, but you don't have ideas. You don't have you don't have anything to back it. You're just saying. You're just saying stuff. You're just talking. Exactly. Just to be talking. Mm-hmm. You're doing the same stuff, and and just like I hear people joking around, kidding around. You're doing the same stuff now that you was doing ten years ago. If you a drug dealer, and you selling drugs, and you still selling mix and dive that you were selling when you was in high school, when you 15 years in the game, you should probably give up drug dealing because you uh, just you, you suck. You yeah. suck. Yeah, you really need to fill out a job application. Just get it together. Go be some job training. Be sitting here <laughs> being, being uh, a, a, every, everybody's not a rapper. Everybody's not a baller. You can't be sitting here with the same concept that you were talking about last year, like, oh, I'm going to grind harder. Oh, what you going to do? Oh, you know, I'm going to put out this mixtape. I'm going to be at the studio. <laughs> I'm going to be at the club. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start hitting up these events and venues and doing all these shows. Dude, you're like 34 years old. You're not going to make it. I understand you have dreams and aspirations, but maybe you should go get a job. Maybe, maybe. Right. you know, get a four hundred one k plan. Get get some health benefits. You know, go see a dentist and an eye doctor. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, all these all these. Kenya, you know, don't laugh at me, Kenya. <laughs> nah, right I'm though. being real though. I'm being real right though. though. I'm, I'm being right real. Though. Right though, you know I what mean? Yeah, you got people, you got dudes out here. It's like thirty four. You know what I mean? Never, never been to the dentist. You know what I mean? <laughs> Feel me? Oh my gosh! Nah, but for real though, yeah. 
Like, you know what I mean? When I was young, my mom didn't really take us. Yeah, but you've been grown for a long time, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah, you, up yeah. until 18, like, you couldn't blame her anymore after your 18th birthday, yeah. man. Like, come birthday, on. like, no. Nah. Like, no. Nah. Unless you're telling me, that. as a grown man, the last time you had insurance was when you was under your parents, there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like well, what's yeah. your point here? <laughs> You need to get off the COBRA program. You need to get off the COBRA program. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? Obama got some plans out there for you. You know what I mean? Go do something. Go do something. Grow up. That's what people really need to do. Right, even with that. Yeah, let's grow up. Let's grow up. You know what I mean? No, I'm with you on that. I know last uh, year, uh, 2014 actually, I made a resolution, if you will, that I wanted to give back more and be more involved in my community and with my charity work than I was already doing. And so I do, you know, a lot of marathons and walks and stuff like that. But then I say, yeah, you know, but instead of just, you know, posting a picture or having a conversation about homeless awareness, you know, go out and feed more people, you know, instead of talking about breast cancer, do some more walks. You know, go sit with a couple of people who are, are you know, suffering from that and, and they need someone to talk to. And so that particular year, each month that I was um, showing the awareness for whatever that was, whether it was sarcoidosis, uh, homelessness, um, I did lupus, you know, breast cancer, things of that nature, I made sure that I also mm-hmm. did a walk, Um even though we go out and do be the homeless and stuff that year, that was when I started to do the care packages. Um, I made some when I went over to one of the hospitals. They had for one of the women, well, a couple of men, actually, they're there who suffer from breast cancer as well. When they had to go and sit to have their treatments done, I would go in and take them little care packages so that while they sat and had their treatment, they could read a book or they could, well, they can't eat anything, but you know, just things that they can take with them after that would maybe just make them feel better, you know, when they're leaving uh-huh. just to have somebody to talk to. So for me, that was fulfilling because I really felt like I stepped up into doing more of what I was already doing. Because like Clint said, when it's when you're becoming better at something that you're already doing, that also makes it easier to stick to it because it's not like it's something brand new. You know, when when you're just starting it, that's when it's the hardest to stick to. But when you're used to it already, you're like, mm, I'm going to do a little bit more. It's easier to do that as well. So when you're constantly doing, you know, oh, this year I'm going to do this and this, yeah. But like I said, I think sometimes people are just not being realistic, and that's what discourages them. You know, I'm going to go ahead and – lose 30 pounds in the next 30 days. Okay, wait, everybody calm down. Not that that's not possible, <laughs> but how exactly are you going to do that? You know, I've never seen you go to the gym, and I know you like food. So, like a lot of, you know, food that ain't good for you. So how are you, how so you going to gonna stop out? eating. I, they're just going to stop <laughs> eating. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to eat salad. I had this one girl when I was overseas. She had to uh, pass her, uh, She she was, Considered overweight, um, according to Army standards, she had to get tape because mm-hmm. her. I'm not gonna lie, she had some big hips, and you know they kind of said mm-hmm. she was she was bigger than she was allowed to be. So they put her on like a special diet. Her diet consists of eating fruit and Jello for a whole week. That's all she ate: breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so she could lose weight. She had to drop uh-huh. a couple inches off in order for her to pass her tape test. But that's all she did. She was like, "I'm just not gonna eat." She was in here and eat fruit and yogurt and some crackers. <laughs> Literally for a week. That's all she did. Didn't pass her test. Didn't help out any. I'm just like I, I, I lost my damn mind. <laughs> I lost my goddamn mind. I'm gonna give you all the sugar right here, and you're gonna drop this weight. Where's the protein? What, what is going on? She probably starving that whole seven days. She had to be. She, yeah, she, she looks. She looks sad. You be sitting over there eating good oh, food. Yeah. You know, we she over there at the Waffle House eating waffles and cheesesteak Thursdays and P 
pizza and all kinds of stuff in here. She is with a with a cup of orange. And even like a, a jello gelatin thing. It's like a little plastic Dixie cup of jello no. that they done made and you just like yo That's terrible. Boom. Uh, it would have just had to kick me out. This <laughs> bar, this bar was smooth. Got me out of here. Oh my God! put all that food in that one week. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah, that's, that's messed up. They did her I'll be pissed that. off if I lose no weight and then pack my stuff. <laughs> you had me, you had me eat sugar for a whole week and then you go and then I ain't drop nothing. Nah, yeah, nah. She was, you know how strong your senses are when you're hungry? Like you smell everything. <laughs> And then you you start to eat again, and you'd be like, man, this cracker tastes like meatloaf, mashed potatoes. <laughs> you'd be like, what? <laughs> so you are super yeah. hungry. <laughs> That's too funny. That is terrible. That's oh, man. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, y'all want to give out the number whole... again? Yes. 657-383-1151. You guys want to call in and let us know what it is you guys have for your resolution and if you're sticking to it, if you've ever stuck to one, or just what they are. You know what? I got me a New Year's resolution. I ain't even going to front. This year. Now you got one. It is. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep it real. This year, I'm I'm going I'm to remember the phone number to the show and I'm going to give it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Yo, he said you want to get a number to show. I got bad quiet. Like, yo, I don't know it. Let me look up something that I posted to see if I can find it. Even when I introduced y'all this <laughs> earlier this, in the beginning of the show, I was like, yo, you know, hit the site up, but uh, who want to get that number out for me? I, I'm, I'm going to remember the number one of these days. Uh, yeah, I pulled your number. You see, I asked y'all to get a number out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make a resolution for Red. She's going to remember which show that we're doing and to say it right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, she <laughs> GTS. No, GTS. Uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, that sounds like a video. Hey, game. Red, if you're listening out there, we miss you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we definitely do. We definitely do, but we still going to talk about you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 just think, I, it. I just think it all comes down to this, you know what I mean? Just goals. Set, set a simple goal. Just set a simple goal. Definitely, they could. They don't have to be. They don't have to be resolutions per se. They could be goals. Like, 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 it doesn't have to actually be a resolution because nine times out of ten, a lot of these people aren't going to stick to these so-called resolutions. But I mean, I come up with a goal. Like, you know, it's not really a resolution. It's not really a goal. I just say, you know, I, I want to travel more. I, I said that last mm-hmm. year, and I, I did. I mean, besides me being on deployment, but I, I actually travel. Like, I mean, I went to Germany, went to Istanbul, I was in Mexico, went to Ireland. Um, I, I traveled. I mean, I said I wanted to do it, and I did it. It didn't have nothing to do with a resolution. It just had, actually was a goal of mine to actually want to do things and go different places. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you set your mind to it and, and, and you make it a goal instead of a resolution, uh, wording has a whole lot to do with it. Um, definitely. I mean, you have, like you said, you can have resolutions, you can have goals. Resolution is just like, oh, I want to lose weight. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. But if you have a goal of how you're going to do it and and what you're going to, what your final product is going to be, then you can make it more achievable and and more attainable that you'll actually want to do it instead of making it a task. Oh, I want to lose weight. How are you going to do it? I'm going to, I'm going to go to the gym more. Okay, mm-hmm. you're waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go hit the gym at, at for an hour every morning. It's a resolution. You don't want to do it. You're just like, dang, I don't want to do it. But if your goal is to have a six-pack by summertime, then you're going to be like, okay, you know, I need to do this, and this is what I got to do to do it. Mm-hmm. It's not a resolution mm-hmm. to lose weight or get in shape. It's, just, it's a goal for you to get a six-pack by, by summertime. Because you got to plan. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got to plan. Your initial, your first goal into the into this for the six pack is I initially all right, I gotta work out first. I gotta change my diet. You know what I mean, I gotta do this, that and the third. So you gotta plan. You know what I mean? You get you, you everything you got you gotta have a plan. You know what I mean, a lot of these resolutions like your bro said, there's, there's no plans. There's no plans. It's just people just going out here trying to freestyle it and think it's gonna work like that. It's not it's not. I uh, mean, you made a good point about the rapping. I uh, mean, some of y'all for New Year. I uh, mean, y'all need to. I uh, mean, 
you need to uh, face reality. I mean, <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Go get you a job. Uh, or just or, or or transition. If you want to do music, you know I mean, transition into something else. You know I mean, be a producer. Find some young talent. Help them. You know what I mean? Promote them. Do something like that. You know I mean? Some of y'all, some of y'all rappers, y'all need to do shows. I ain't get paid to do a show yet. But, yeah, uh, like you. And, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. I ain't gonna get into this right now because I can keep going on about this. You're. I'm. Not, I'm gonna stop because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I love. I love everybody. I'm. I'm. I'm an underground supporter. I love everybody. Just everybody just doesn't deserve that chance, though. Uh, uh, everybody is. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm wrong with dreaming, but you know what I mean. Even 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 with that, you know what I mean. You got a dream, you know what I mean. You and you on pursuit to that dream, you know what I mean. It's more than just a resolution or be being resolute. You're absolute, you know what I mean. So if you're if you go and chase a dream, you are gonna put everything into it. No, I mean that, and that, and, and that goes with setting goals, making plans, this, that, and the third. No, I mean you can't go into, you can't be like, well, no, I mean two, 2015 ain't work, ain't work out for me. Music two, 2016, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take off. I'm, gonna, but you, do, you still doing the same thing. No, I mean that's, that's basically, what, no, I mean like your, your actions are still the same. I mean your mind, in your mind, you may be saying one thing. But if you don't change your actions, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. You're really not chasing the dream. You just, you know what I mean? You're fronting. You're fronting. You know I mean? That's what it basically comes down to. I hate to say it like that, but you know what I mean? Like you're fronting. you front. fronting. Everybody did it at some point. You know what I mean? I know personally I did it when I was younger. That's why I don't, I'm not I'm not with it now because I, I learned from it. I learned from my mistakes. Wait, everybody did what? When he was young, I had a resolution. Now, I mean, when you was young, you came in, well, with this new year, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Yeah. You did that at one point. Oh, yeah. You did, did that at one it. point. Just didn't, yeah, didn't do it. Didn't do yeah. it. I mean, you started out good. A week, but... two weeks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we, and, and we learned from our mistakes. So we was like, you know what? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Just saying, I'm this new year, new me stuff. Like, right now, right now, I got to have a plan. Got to have a plan. You feel me? Yeah, I, I just, I think, you know, you, I know for me when I was doing it, I would like literally sit down and have this pro and con list, you know, uh, of things that I wanted to change about myself. And if it was realistic, I think people not being realistic is, is probably, if not the biggest reason why they don't stick to it is, is I think Clinton, you were the one who said it earlier, they put way too much pressure on themselves. I mean, it's like yeah. you, know, you got to fall before you can walk. Start small. You want to eat better? Start with seven days. It literally takes you one week to change your eating habits. <clears throat> That's it. So if you can do seven days, do another week. Then mm-hmm. do three weeks. Then you'll we'll get to a month. But if you got in your mind, oh, my gosh, I got to do this 30-day challenge. So that means I got 29 more days to do the exact same thing. That will discourage you from keeping doing it because now you're keeping count. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and it's like you're so close but so far away. But if it's seven days, it's like, that's nothing. I can go another week. But, you know, for the next 90 exactly. days, I'm going to just do this water challenge. I'm going to go to the gym every day. And then, see, that's not even realistic, especially for people who are, Making these resolutions, and they're coming from not having done it. From nothing. Something new. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. No. That's 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 the big part right there. You know I mean, like you've yeah. never, you've you never even finished the task yet, mm-hmm. or any task that you set out before. But all of a sudden now, you know what I mean, since December thirty first is about to pass, you know what I mean, twelve o'clock is about to hit. You you think. Everything's going to change. It's, it's, it's going to be magic. I know. Right. Uh, I mean, it doesn't. Nothing magically happens. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> no, I mean, like too too many people. No, I mean, it's the thing. They're already like it was, it's December thirty first, and they're already looking at December thirty first of the next year. No, I mean, mm-hmm. they're not thinking about the whole three hundred sixty five days or three sixty six this year because it's a leap year. No, I mean the journey. 
You feel me? They skipping the journey. All they all they want to do is is all they thinking about is the results. Well, to get those results, it's a journey. Know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta prepare yourself for that journey through it. Know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I said, it's gonna be obstacles. It's gonna be setbacks. Know what I mean? All that that's that's life. You feel me? That's life. And you know, and then straight straight off the holidays too, especially in January. Now, I mean, like you know, a lot of people they broke. They waiting for this income tax money because they'll spend all their money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, nah, I mean, they'll oh, spend yeah. all their money on holidays. You feel me? Y'all be there on win out for the New Year's. You know what I mean? Like so, so like first thing you need to take care of business first. You need, you need to realize just because that clock changed. You know what I mean? This thing bills still need to be paid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, electric might get cut off because you want to do a, be all willy nilly with your money with the gifts. Nah, I mean, you need to focus. You need to f- have, have a focus and understand that ain't nothing changing. You know what I mean? Like your bills and all that stuff still going to be there. The reasons why you you didn't accomplish your goal before is still going to be there. You have to, you have to focus in on that first. The re- yeah. Why don't you have a six pack? Don't tell me you about to get a six pack. Tell me why don't you have a six pack right now? Because your diet messed up, you don't work out. So that's the first thing you need to fix. Know what I mean? Don't tell me you about to go get a six pack. You know what I mean? You went to the gym, that's cool. But next thing I know, I see you eating a mushroom cheesesteak. Know what I mean? From Lucky Seven, Belly Busters. <laughs> know what I mean? Because those things you love to jerk, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm going to work this off, though. I'm going to work this off, though. Yeah, you know that's what, what they say. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, like, nah, man, got my face. It don't work like that. <laughs> yeah, That's uh, exactly what they say. I'm going to just stay in the gym an extra 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, because mm-hmm, that yeah. meat you just oh. ate ain't going to take three to four days without just thinking your system. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Enjoy that. My bad. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. I do want to yeah. say one thing. With, you said about the cold turkey with the smoking. I have a friend. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I right now, he's, it's... It got, it's got to be going on about, <coughs> excuse me, got to be going on about three months. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He stopped cold turkey, just smoking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, his, you know what I mean? His motive, he had a motivation. He had a motivated factor. And it was his health. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if he didn't stop smoking, his health would deteriorate, deteriorate real quickly. So, he had a motivated mm-hmm. factor. You know what I mean? So, he didn't wait till the new year. Or nothing like that. He just mm-hmm. he just went cold turkey because he knew. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, like I said, sometimes people you may not have a plan, but if your motivating factor is that real and that serious, you now I mean you'll find a way to make it happen. You'll find a way to. And, and so far, wow. so good. You know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't been smoking or nothing, and that and that motivate me. That motivate me. But you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I ain't make that decision. I mean, I didn't put that out there. Said I was gonna stop. So I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I mean, I mean, I told him he inspired me. He make me. I mean, I told him when I'm ready. When I'm ready, I'm joining. I'm gonna join him. I said I'm just not quite ready yet. Mm-hmm. It's not quite. You know, I mean, people know it. People know it. Like you know, when you're ready to make a change, and you're not. When you're just giving some lip service. Or when you dead serious, know what I mean? And, and I'm that's pressing. that's the main thing with these resolutions. That you can make it. You can you can say you're going to do something if you want to, but only you know if you actually going to make that change. Just like you were saying, that's, that's only you know. I could yeah. sit here and say, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go get in shape and I'm gonna go to the gym, and I could say that all I want to, but am I really going to wake up and go to the gym every day? Am I really yeah. going to work out on, on getting this body right? Am I really going to work on losing this weight? Am I really going to work on grinding and making more money? Or am I just going to keep doing the same thing I was doing before? Right. Mm-hmm. And if what you was doing before, don't get me wrong, people out there, if what you was doing before is working for you, then continue to do it. You know what I mean? We're not, hey, if it works for you, I mean, we ain't going to judge you. I'm going to look at you funny. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. No, I'm going to judge you. No, that's why I said earlier. Go ahead, go ahead, Rick. No, I'm thanking him for for listening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for listening, too. 
Nah, I mean, mm-hmm. I wish we, wish we would have got some callers. I would have loved to hear what the people think. You know what I mean? I know mm-hmm. some people out there got some funny stories already about their oh, New Year resolutions that they done broke already. Already, and today is only the seventh. Yeah, today's only the seventh. Mm-hmm. Today's only the seventh. I know people that done broke their resolutions already. You feel me? Already, family members. <laughs> That's like people saying, going out on the weekend, getting all drunk, twisted, hung over, and talk about, oh, my God, I'm never going to drink again. And the next Friday, come out, yeah, we doing it again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the Dude, best you way to get over a hangover is to drink some more vodka. <laughs> what? You, you almost died last week. Why are you, what are you talking about? Are we going to do this again? Yeah. yeah. That support yeah, system not working for you. for you. You talking about getting some more. <laughs> That's too funny. I, I exactly. know personally, I've done that before too. I've done that before too. I got got yeah. so got struck so much one weekend. I was like, you know what? I'm never, I'm never drinking again. Never, <laughs> never drinking again. You feel me? Next day, next day, get that phone call, bro. What's up? Now nah, I mean, try to go out. Yeah, 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 man. Come on, man. I'm good. I'm good. I recover. You feel me? So, no, nah, I mean, I've done that before too. I done that's that's funny. I brought that up. Oh, you, you be high? Oh, more shots. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. You feel me? You ain't about to have fun without me. I'm just going to store and give me a blue Gatorade. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat me some pasta. The pasta so good. Up. Yeah, everybody say that. So, so weird. What? That everybody <laughs> got it. So pure yeah, yeah. Eat some bread. Eat some bread before you drink. <laughs> you know what I mean? That starch oh, going to soak that liquor up. I'm going to pop this Tylenol before I get a hangover because it's going to help me more before I get the hangover. What? No. It's not. <laughs> oh, exactly. man. This, this, this is funny. I like this topic. But uh, it is almost that time, people. Uh, so, no, I mean, we like to appreciate, we like to say we appreciate everybody out there for listening. Now, I mean, go to our website, gftradioshow.com. Uh, you can also go to our YouTube site on YouTube. Just type in GFT Radio. I mean, it will pop up. Please subscribe to that. Now, I mean, to that YouTube channel, and you can watch all all our shows that we ever listen to. All our shows that we ever did. Now, I mean, leave comments. Tell us how you how you would like for us to improve, or what topics you want to hear. We always listening. Now, I mean, we about the public like to educate, have some fun. Uh. We also blogtalkradio.com backslash GFT radio show. Uh, you mm-hmm. can hit us all up on Twitter. Uh, you know what I mean? That's, that's no, I don't it. get it right. You can't hit us all up on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a, uh, that you should be what? a resolution for you. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You, Red. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you're going to get. We're going to get Red at Twitter. We're going to get her on Twitter. Um, it's time for her to grow, grow up in this social media game. You got to go up in the social media game. So, Everybody does not have a Twitter. Yeah, you need to get on it, though. You need to get everybody on it. do have one. Yeah, they even had a Twitter for all uh, of you guys have it, but Hoodie. not everybody. Like, <laughs> I know some people that you know, don't have you know who, it. You know who James Jones is? The basketball player? No, nah, the football yeah. player for the Packers. Oh, for the Packers? Oh, oh, they had a. Uh, <laughs> his, his hoodie got a Twitter. He wear a hoodie you know on his uniform. He... You know what? I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. I'm done with both of y'all. Le- LeBron James' hairline got a Twitter. No. Yeah, yeah. Y'all wrote this Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we it. will see you all next week, uh, January 14th, same time, uh, 10 p.m., but we will also be implementing our after show. So the show will run from 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. next week. So we'll have a recap of the show that will air from 10 to 11. So we'll see you guys then. Good night. All right. Take care now. Good night, people.